Welcome everybody and today we are in Cary, North Carolina, home of limited runs only retail store. We're at McGregor Village and uh, let's go check it out. We only got two hours. Actually, we got less than one hour. So it's a Thursday. Limited Run's got some really conky hours for Thursdays. They're open for members only from four o'clock to six o'clock. So it's a little bit after five now. So we have a little bit of time to go check it out. And uh, I think it's somewhere upstairs. So we're gonna go upstairs and try to find it. Trying to find the store at this plaza is a whole other thing. I know they're upstairs somewhere, but I'm not sure exactly where. And uh, the setup is kind of complicated. Let's see, we got a state farm over here, and I think we found it. <laughs> this is not it. This is uh, another store, Gamers, Geeky, and uh, Geekery and Tavern. But right next to that, it looks like we have limited run games. TVs are all off today because technically they're closed. But really cool setup. So first impressions, this is pretty cool. Man, do hit you. The neon looks so awesome. Alright, so while we're here, we're gonna do some shopping. Let's see. They got a lot of PlayStation 4 stuff. Oh my god, there is so much here to look at. All right, right away I see some Shantae games. I always wanted to play these. $29.99. It's not bad. That's actually very good. I thought this was a numbered release, but there's no numbers on the side here. And I got another one here. Let's put that one there. Oh, there's another one right here. This is just a different cover. Nope, that one was Risky's Revenge. This is just Shante. And let's see. Oh my God. Look at all the copies of Night Trap. I cannot beat this game. I can't get past probably 20 or 30 minutes. <laughs> Very interesting uh, full motion video game. Oh, uh, here's the Neo Geo Pocket Collections. I just got one of mine in the mail. Now I'm out. I don't remember if I got one or two. I think it was number one. Oh boy, I can't remember. Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. This is pretty much the only limited run game you could still find at Best Buy. If you didn't know, Best Buy sells limited run games. And look at all the big box games. This is so weird to see in person. This is crazy. Oh my god, all the stuff that I missed out on, you could just buy it. Wow. Axe and Verge. There's the... Uh, Castlevania Collector's Edition. Let's see what else they got. Oh, Double Switch. I think I was going to order this. And it ran out. Oh, Corpse Killer 2. They got the special edition for Corpse Killer. Oh my god. That's the PS4 version. This game looked awful. Another full motion video game. It was very popular during the 90s. I think this started on the 3DO, I want to say. I might be, might be incorrect on that. Oh my god, here's another Shantae Collector's Edition. They have the Collectors and they have the Classic Editions. I don't know which one this is. How do you tell what system it's for? Does it tell you anywhere on there? Oh yeah, they're right there. PlayStation 4. Look at this big Neo Geo box. <laughs> this is how big they actually were. Not a Neo Geo game in there, I'm sure. This, let's see. I think this is, yeah, this is all the PlayStation 4 Special Editions. But that's That's super cool. There's a big box of the Scott Pilgrim here. Wow, these are really in there. These are cool. Also, PlayStation 4. So apparently there's a whole Nintendo section of the special editions as well. Oh my god, look at all these. There's the Neo Geo Pocket Collection that I got and I did a video on. I believe that is the one. I'm going to have to go back and watch my own video. <laughs> There's some Doom Collector Editions. These are cool. Wow, that's really awesome. See, this is the problem. You don't want to open these things up. Look at this. This looks so freaking cool. Wow. Contra Collection. Oh, my God. I think I got this one. 
think I did buy this one. So many to look at. I don't know which one to go with. Double switch. I remember I had this one in my cart. And it never got shipped to me. I don't even remember what this was about anymore. Eddie's in the basement and he can't get up. <laughs> this looks so bad. There's all the Game Boy games over here, but what's impressive is they still have some Vita games. Now, I don't know if these are the limited run number games. I never, never got in on this Why they were still doing. There's, yeah, limited run number 127 for the Vita. Holy smokes. $25. No way. Night Trap on the Vita? Oh, my God. I got to buy that. 30 bucks. I'm buying that. All right, we got to add another game. There's a lot of these, Risk of Rain. Oh, I don't know these games. So crazy. What is this? I love Night Trap. It's such an awful game, but it's 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 kind of fun. This is also for the Vita. What the heck? They made Night Trap on the Vita as well. Oh my gosh. That's the big box one. Some Super Nintendo games. We got the Double Dragon Battletoads. Now I do have this one. They put it in the nice little slip cover, $60. I hope you click it off. I think my Looks like they have some uh, damage games here. So you can buy a damage game case. Looks like the covers and they give you a certain percentage off. So let's look at those. So if you're not too worried about like the artwork and stuff, like this one, this one looks like it's it's open on the side or broken or ripped. 60% off for Scott Pilgrim. So, $35 game. More than half off. And they've got these Hyperkin controllers here. These are like the old school Super, or not Super Nintendo, the old NES controllers. These are kind of neat. These are $32. And then they got Genesis ones as well. They got ones that look more like the standard Genesis controllers as well. Those are made by Retrobit. A couple arcade games in here as well. I've never been good at these, but let's take a look at these prizes. Looks like there's a t-shirt in here. A couple games, Octodad, never heard of that one. Shrek the Third, that's a rare, rare sealed game apparently. A gold cartridge of something girls, Girl Zero. I can't read that that far away. That looks pretty cool though. Curse of the Moon, Castlevania game. Oh wow, that's a nice copy of Saturday Morning RPG and a limited run t-shirt. Something interesting here I was not expecting is look at this pre-owned zone. They actually have pre-owned games here. Let's take a look at a little peek at what they have. I'll edit this and uh, try to figure out what to show you guys because I'm not gonna show you guys everything. We'll see if we can find something cool. Here are some Sega Genesis games. There's a Master System game in there, Rambo 3, 23 bucks. I think that one might be on my list, as well as uh, Penguin Land. And this is one of my favorite NES games, RC Pro-Am. I got RC Pro-Am 2 a couple years ago. I still have not played that game. It's a two-player version. All right, this is crazy, guys. Um, Went a little nuts here. <laughs> um, I'll show you guys everything maybe in a different video, but the, the staff here was absolutely fantastic. My daughter, I feel kind of bad because my daughter got one game here and all the rest of these are, are mine. But this is um this is the last 3DS game. It's pretty cool. So that's awesome. I missed out on this, so uh, I got that. I'm really happy to have it. Staff is uh, super cool here. All right, <laughs> that's what makes it so hard to dislike this company, you know, is the people that work there. The, the customer service in person is absolutely amazing. If they could translate these people to their online site, they would be all set. It would be a perfect storm. Um, really awesome staff, after we uh, got done with our purchases, end up staying there for another 15 minutes just talking to the people. And uh, what's cool is I actually got to meet the person who I talked to on the phone um, that was so helpful. So it, it was just, it was a great experience. And uh, we got some games and we got some rare things and things that I missed out on. And there was so much more I could have purchased, but 
it was hard to resist. We we definitely did not did not leave lightly. <laughs> I'll say that. And going on vacation, probably not supposed to spend that kind of money before we even get there. I think we should probably go around, go go back and turn back home now because I think we spent enough money. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video of the physical location of Limited Run. So they are open Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. If you guys are visiting, kind of weird hours, but I don't know, I guess that's what the area supports. And um, if you become a member, they open for two hours on Thursday. I think a membership was only like 15 bucks, so it's not that bad. Um, but yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, share, subscribe. Until next time, see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.